Back to this awesome video. In the video, we add you to another very awesome video. But before we start, I just wanted to say I am very, very sorry about my energy in this video. Um, my head is killing me. My ears are pounding in pain today. So, I'm still going to make videos for you guys. Even if I'm going to have to... Well, yeah. Is just so I can have a video out tomorrow, mainly. So, I might make a video and then wait on the rest of the videos till tomorrow night to make them. Um, because, well, I don't know how much longer I can survive this. So, let's get into the video. Students who are pure genius. Ow. Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at 10 students who are pure genius. So, many students can be smart academically, but here are some students who are smart at life and think outside the box. From broke college students to people who fix how to be bored in class. But before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too? Coming in at number 10, we have Secret Sleeper. So this is something every student should be able to relate to. I'm sure we've all had those moments where we're super tired in class. You wish you could fall asleep, but if you do, your teacher will likely yell at you. And also, you'll look like a bit of an idiot in class. Well, one guy was having this exact problem. The only difference is, though, he is a genius and thinks outside the box. Take a look at this class. It looks pretty normal, right? There simply seems to be a bunch of students working. But take a closer look at the guy in the white t-shirt. Now, from the front, he seems like any other student paying a lot of attention. But if you go around to the side, you'll see this guy is taking a nap. This is a genius way to be able to sleep in class. All you need to do is remember not to snore, otherwise you may get found out. The guy behind yeah. this is actually called Zach King, and he's a magician. I can see why it would take a magician to come up with this. It is a very clever hack which a lot of students should be using, especially in college lectures where it seems half the class is always asleep. Would you guys ever want to try this out? And if you've ever fallen asleep in class, let me know how it went. Next up is smart stealing. So if there's one thing everyone knows about college students, it's that they don't have a bunch of money. They likely have student loans. And then on top of that, because of classes, they can't have a full-time job. This means they can either live broke or get smart. On one girl's college campus, there's a free coffee machine. The machine has sections for chocolate milk, 2% milk, and skim milk. You're allowed to put as much of this as you want in your coffee cup. But of course, you won't use that much milk in a cup of coffee, right? Well, the school must have not thought about people like this girl thinking outside the box. As you can see, she's filling up a milk jug with milk. This way, she doesn't have to spend big bucks on milk and can get it for free. You may think this is stealing from a college, but seeing as tuition fees are $150,000 sometimes, I don't blame her. Although, if I was her, I would have gone for the chocolate milk. Let me know if you guys have ever done something like this. Personally, I'd love to do this somewhere like a 7-Eleven. Oh my word, yes. Next up is Stealth Phone. So everyone loves using their cell phone when they probably shouldn't. On average, people waste around 7 hours a week at work on their cell phone. But of course, at most workplaces, you can get away with slacking off and going on your cell phone. In school, however, this is not the case. There's usually a teacher standing over you, checking out your every move. But one guy at a Japanese high school may have found a way around this. If I show you the top half of this image, it simply looks like a guy's study. But if you check out the bottom half, you'll see he's really using his phone. He simply he slipped his sleeve out of his jacket and is using his phone. But he put his jacket sleeve up on the table to make it look like he's got both hands on the table. I have to say, this is a very genius and stealthy thing to do. While the guy sitting next to him has clearly realized, his teacher has not. I'm not saying you guys should do this in class, but if you do, at least use your time to watch top 10 videos. <laughs> yeah. What Mr. Play, next up yeah. is Moneymaker. So we've already covered how many students are broke. Of course, one way to get around this is to save money, like the girl with milk. But an even better way is to make money. We all know that college students drink a lot of beer. And in most college dorms, there are beer cans lying all over the place. Well, that is why one guy living on a college campus came up with a genius idea. He put a sign out in his yard saying, Please throw your cans in my yard. Some people must have thought he was joking, as he also wrote, No, seriously, do. You may be questioning, Why would you want a bunch of cans in your yard? That sounds like a bad thing. But if you think about it, it all makes sense. This guy's simply collecting up these cans and then taking them to a recycling plant. This way he makes money just from people throwing cans into his yard. You may think there's no money in recycling, but 
that, that's where you'd be wrong. In fact, one seven-year-old boy named Brian Hickman is made over $21,000 all by recycling. If a seven-year-old can do it, then so can you. So yeah. if any of you are struggling with money, then maybe try this out. Try it sure that. helps if your neighbor's got a drinking problem, though. Yeah. Next up is Book Bookshelf. You may be asking, Charlie, what is a book bookshelf? Surely a bookshelf is a book bookshelf. Well, that is where you'd be wrong. Again, in this image, we have to remember that students don't have a ton of money, but what they do have is a ton of textbooks. In fact, textbooks are likely one of the big reasons students don't have a lot of money. Textbooks are so expensive, but they cost a ton. One student yeah. had to buy so many textbooks, he couldn't even afford a second bookshelf to put them all on. So instead, he did something smart. He simply made a bookshelf out of books. This doesn't sound like it would work, but it actually holds up pretty well. He just better hope he doesn't have to take certain books. Otherwise, it's like a game of Jenga. Well, as long as he doesn't have to use all of these books, then he can use some to make this bookshelf. I'm not sure if this guy's an engineering or architecture student, but he could be. This is not only a great way for saving space in a crammed college dorm, but it's also a great way to save money. A good bookshelf can set you back around $50. Can you guys imagine how many cans that would take to get back? So really, yeah. if you think about it, this bookshelf is pretty genius, if not slightly ghetto. Coming up next is Luke's pool. So we all know the American dream is a wide picket fence and a swimming pool. That's pretty much a symbol saying that you've made it. But most college Ooh. students are just starting their journey into the American dream. Before it's crushed by a student loan, that is. But remember, if you're smart enough, any student can have things like a swimming pool. One student named Luke had a pickup truck, but he doesn't often need to use the back of his pickup truck. So in the summer season, he decided to transform his pickup truck into a moving swimming pool. As you can see, he simply put tarpaulin down and filled it up with water. This actually makes a surprisingly useful swimming pool. And by the looks of it, there's even pool toys in there too. And in case there was any confusion, he even put a sign up saying Luke's pool. Although I doubt that many other people have pickup truck pools to confuse this with. Either way, this is a pretty funny and genius invention. Can you guys imagine how fun it would be moving around while in a swimming pool? It may be a bit risky and small, but hey, it's better than spending thousands of dollars on a real swimming pool. Yeah. Next up is paper time. So one thing this list has proved is that students are very resourceful. And instead of buying new things, they'd rather simply fix them themselves. This can be the case with things that they don't have, like bookshelves and swimming pools. During a student dorm party, things can get pretty crazy and things can break. Well, one day, somehow, a student broke his clock. But instead of buying a whole new clock, he simply drew on the bit that was broken. He did this surprisingly accurately. And when you think about it, it still works pretty fine and does the job. Although this does kind of remind me of Pat Patrick's watch. When you're on the same level as Patrick, you know you're not doing something right. But either way, this yeah. is better than buying a whole new clock and wasting money. I just hope nobody's late to their final due to this budget clock. But what do you guys think? Is this a win or a fail? Maybe a little bit of Next up is pen sticks. So, students love food. But as the milk girl from before proved, they can't always afford it. Well, one day a student treated himself to some beef faux noodles. Now, this is usually kind of a luxury, even though they are pot noodles. However, there was only one downside. They didn't have any chopsticks. So instead, they used something that most students do have, pens. As you can see, this guy literally had to use pens to eat his noodles with. That is when you know you're struggling. But on the bright side, this guy is very resourceful. Have you guys ever had to eat with pens before? I can proudly say I haven't. But as a student, you never know what you're going to be eating or what you're going to be eating it with. <laughs> Next up is Student Christmas. So, students hate spending money on unnecessary things. And one thing that is nice to have, but isn't exactly necessary, is a Christmas tree. Sometimes college dorms don't have the money to buy a Christmas tree. So instead, this student made himself into a mobile Christmas tree. Now, this may not exactly be genius on his part, but he is taking one for the team. And his roommates must have been pretty genius to convince him to do this. Either that, or this guy is persuaded way too easily. I'm not sure if the guy in the background of the image has just seen this guy's hair, but it sure looks like it. The guy does look pretty pleased with his trim, much more happy than I would be. And he's even got one singular awesome 80s frosted tear. Yeah, who remembers them? <laughs> Next up is water. So this one is slightly like the girl filling up the milk from before. However, this one is even more complicated. Sometimes in dorm rooms, the faucet water isn't great. So many students use the water fountain outside instead. But one day somebody came up with an amazing heist to steal some water from the college. They got an office water cooler and put a coffee
coffee cup on the top. They then positioned that under a water tap. They then positioned that under a water fountain and turned it on with their skateboard. This way they could sit back, relax, and watch the water fill up. I have to say, this is a very genius tip. Even if it does look like a game of mousetrap. But hey, at least this guy got a whole water cooler full of fresh water for free. Have you guys ever come up with a genius student tip of your own? If so, let me know in the comments. Or wow. Just wow. Better if you guys have an image, send it to me and I'll put it in a part two of this list. Well, guys, that would be it for the video. Um, I know that this kind of seemed a little short. It's because of my whole head and all that. Kind of wanted to do a short video today. So, um, that guess that would be it for the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe over to too. Like, and I guess I'll see you guys. Excuse me. Oh, next time. Goodbye.